I think I'm going to wear my uh, Seiko Sumo today. Got a Seiko Sumo. For those of you who don't know this, uh, I like watches. And I can't wear an, a nice watch unless I have some sort of semblance of fitness. I'm probably about 30 pounds overweight, which... <laughs> Being in the Western civilization is actually not that bad, but uh, I got my harissa sauce sardines. I'm taking them to my in-laws because my in-laws know that I love tandoori pizza. They've got like this Indian family owns a uh, pizzeria in Lakewood, and I'll be going to a part of Long Beach near Lakewood. They're going to have this tandoori pizza at their house. My in-laws house is like a pressure point area for cheating on my uh, on my program and uh, these sardines I'm gonna take them and so the question is should I have zero pieces of pizza one slice of this tandoori chicken pizza or three slices of pizza now according to Sandra Amat who wrote a book called why diets make us fat I should have probably one or even two slices of pizza because um, she is a uh, neurobiologist who spent her life uh, battling with anorexia, yo-yo diets. She, uh, I didn't have that problem so much, but like her, I've I've wasted a, a incredible, incredible amounts of energy fretting over my weight, over what I eat, and according to this neurobiologist who's done the research and the studies. Uh, not only do diets make us fat, but all this energy we put into uh, our program, our losing weight, it's all futile. Even if you lose the weight, the studies show everyone gains it back again. Uh, very sobering book, and I like the book because she's not selling any snake oil. I mean, her advice is pretty common sense, pretty just sensible. Um, the Western diet's not that good for you. Refined uh, sugar and flour is not that good for you. Try to avoid it. Cheat once in a while. Find out what you really like to cheat so you don't just indiscriminately cheat on everything. Her personal preference is really expensive ice cream. I have one criticism toward her book. My doctor wants me to lose weight so I can get my uh, marginal uh, high bad cholesterol, LDL, down. I mean, she doesn't have a solution for that. I mean, I don't want to have to take statins. I've been on them for like eight years, and they're, I don't want them. I want to be off them. She didn't have a solution for my cholesterol problem. Uh, I liked her, but uh, I found her moderate approach, her let's stop weighing ourselves, let's just be fit. Uh, one thing she made, an, uh, an important point she made in her book is, if you're physically fit, if you exercise a lot, you're not going to lose weight but that will make you healthier and live a lot longer and, uh, there, and there's not enough research about that and she's, uh, she's championing this notion that you can be heavy uh, and exercise a lot and, and uh, be healthy. That's fine. My doctor doesn't like my cholesterol though. My cholesterol would definitely be down. If I was down at 205, I'm 235 now. If I, if I was down at 205, I'm pretty confident my cholesterol would be where it needs to be. I read another book by Vinny Totorich. Fitness Confidential, like him a lot too. Uh, like Sandra Amat, he does, he's not selling any snake oil. I love the simplicity of his diet. No sugar, no grains. Well, that's easier said than done. I cheated yesterday. I had some uh, frozen yogurt with my daughter. I took them to the frozen yogurt place, Yogurt Land, and I had some bites of their frozen yogurt. So I cheated yesterday, which is why I think it's going to be sardine day uh, at the pizza in-law night. I don't know. I don't like cheating two nights in a row. Sandra I would say, no problem. Don't obsess over it. Uh, but I think Vinny Totorich would have a problem with that. He's, he's more strict. I mean, I'm sure he allows some cheat days. But uh, I get the sense that uh, he, um, he, he means business when he says no sugar and no grains. And uh, the book was really written more for uh, beginners. He, he talks about the um, the rampant hustling and uh, disgraceful dishonesty that happens at health clubs where they try to hustle you. And he, and he gives real basic uh, workout advice, which I don't need. I've been working out since I was 12 years old. I used to be uh, an Olympic weightlifting champion. Now, now look at me, man. I'm struggling 30 pounds overweight. Uh, so Fitness Confidential and Why Diets Make Us Fat, two very good books. Uh, Pretty much, I think both authors agree, the Western diet's horrible. 
uh, probably should, should not be eating refined carbohydrates and sugar at all. And so uh, it's pizza night today. I'm bringing sardines. The question is, will it be zero or one pieces? I'll let you know. And until next time, I am out.